create an inventory item in the management system and on the inventory tab. Here you have four options, new item, new category, import and export. To the right is the edit mode that will open other functions like category functions, delete and undo. Click on new item to add an item. The first column asks for basic information so we'll fill out the details. Enter a name, in this case a music CD titled Ed Sheeran Divide. Enter the barcode by scanning the barcode on the item or just type in the barcode numbers. Enter a supplier name if you wish, we'll leave a blank. Enter the stock on hand number. In the section below you can enter price information for this item like the price from the supplier. A markup you'll apply to the supplier price. The tax is already set to the standard Australian GST rate of 10%. To vary it, click on the padlock and enter a new value. To reset it, just click the padlock again. In price, enter your selling price. The tag, not including tax, is set by the preferences. You can change it to show including tax. The amount will not change by your selection here, so take care in the price you set. Finally, you can allow the price to be changed at the cash register if you wish. In the next section, Install Preferences, you have a couple of selections. For items out of stock, to have available for pre-order or not to display. You can also set whether the item will show in the cash register. For instance, if the item is available online only, then set the indicator to no. Otherwise, yes. You can now address display issues. Click on main image and take note of the message that you must have an image if this item is to be available online. Otherwise, an image is optional. Click the browse button to select an image file from your PC. Next, Click on Code and Colour and click on Choose Colour for a background colour of your item icon. You can enter a code for it too. In our case, ESD. Finally, we can add this item to a category. As we do not have any categories yet, we can click on Create a New Category and define one, like Music CD. You can continue and choose a colour for the icon and a three-letter code. For instance, MCD. You must attach an image if this item is to be used online. When your selections are done, click on Save. Now in the Categories section, we can apply our new item to it. If your next item entry will be similar, you can click on Duplicate Item and then make the necessary changes. Now back on the opening screen of Inventories, we can see our two new items and the category we created. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.